2024 could be the final year of full support for Halo Infinite. Let me explain. Because in 2023, we saw a lot of great additions brought into Halo Infinite, like a progression system. Firefight was recently added. Forge was added a little bit later in 2022, but the content really didn't come in until about 2023. And the leaks and rumors about Tatanka have been very quiet. But in 2024, I think we'll get a true sense of what the fate of Halo Infinite is going to be. As 343 did state that the studio has ambitions beyond Infinite. So in this video, I wanted to showcase what we could expect to see for the year of 20. 2024 when it comes to the Halo franchise. As many longtime viewers know, I'm a news-based, info-based channel about Halo, so I've kept my ear to the ground when it comes to anything happening within this franchise. So in this video, we're definitely gonna be talking about Tatanka. We're talking about the TV show, which is coming around in February. How many seasons will be part of 2024? What kind of content, like weapons, maps, modes, vehicles, and even more cross-core? Will Microsoft finally promote Halo in their showcase in June? Let me know what your top five predictions are for Halo throughout the year of 2024 might even make a response video about it. If you're part of that 80% of people who watch the channel who are not subscribed, want to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo, well, you know what to do then. So let's get right into those details. First, let's talk about the big elephant that's not in the room, apparently, but everyone knows it is, and that's Tatanka, the Battle Royale mode. The last time we heard anything about Tatanka was back in January of 2023, right when the whole leaks happened about the lot of the layouts at 343 from Jason Schreier, who's a very credible source when it comes to insider information. Schreier stated that the mode Tatanka was originally supposed to be a Battle Royale pretty straightforward but has apparently evolved into something a little different and potentially switching to the unreal engine so could we see tatanka be announced within 2024 well i highly doubt it throughout the year of 2023 343 was hit really hard with those layoffs and restructuring of upper management to kind of figure out what do we want to do with this franchise moving forward and i'm sure that also takes in consideration of what they're going to do with this tatanka project because a lot of work has been put into it i don't expect this project to be completely dropped but more just a pivot shift to a different style of game and not a battle royale as that genre is pretty much already taken up by your major games like fortnite call of duty apex do I feel like a Halo Battle Royale could definitely exist and be up there with the top Battle Royales in the gaming market? Though I do feel like just the idea of Battle Royale is a little overplayed now at this point. I definitely would like to see Halo be much more of a ahead of the game type of mode, not just copying all the basic popular trends. My last year prediction, I thought for sure we we're going to see Tatanka, but I think that's just really on the back burner and in more development. The next big note we're going to get, guys, is the Halo T. TV show, which is releasing on February 8th. I know a lot of people are like, okay, I'm tuning out, skip forward because I don't like the TV show. And then yeah, there were some hits and some misses when it comes to season one, but season two could be a little promising because season two has a new showrunner who has more experience when it comes to more fiction, comic-based kind of material like The Walking Dead, and that's David Wiener. And he did express that he wanted to have a much more grounded, gritty tone to the series, which I think would be very very needed for the Halo TV show. Because even though the Halo franchise is dealt with like aliens and space magic and you know thousands of millennia and stuff like that, it's always had a bit of a grounded tone to it where a very human element to it. So I read that as we'll be seeing more Chevy Tahoe's within the show. Just kidding, of course. But hearing a much more grounded, gritty tone sounds really great and more true to the Halo experience. But they did showcase this promotional material, which continues my concern about the show. I posted this here on my community page. If you guys want to catch these posts when they go live, make sure you tap subscribe. But right here, you can see on the left side is the actual promotional image for the season two of the Halo show. And over here is on the right side. Basically, you see Chief without the helmet. And I'm like, guys, we've given your feedback on this. You want Chief with the helmet on. Like, yeah, I don't mind him taking it off, but like, you can't just be taking it off constantly like it was in season one. And within the trailer, we saw a lot of Chief without the helmet. So I don't know, maybe some old hat habits die hard. Ultimately, I feel like we're still going to get some mixed reviews when it comes to this show. I think they dug themselves such a deep hole within season one. It'd be very difficult to pull themselves out of this hole. It's possible, but 
I think a little unlikely as I think the Halo show is much more tailored to have a much more general audience kind of tone and writing style compared to like your sci-fi fans from like Halo. All right, let's talk about seasons and content within Halo Infinite. We do know that season five of Halo Infinite is going to end on January 30th, meaning season six coming right around the corner. We'll be getting some more information about that. So I'll be sharing it on the channel, of course. Well, what kind of stuff will we see within this content? Like I stated earlier, a lot of the stuff that was like necessary for a Halo game to be be good was added in mainly throughout 2023 like a progression system firefight forge so what's 343 going to do to keep us excited about playing halo this year one thing i think we're going to see 343 lean more into forge content this was tweeted out back in july of 2023 but i think it's still rather relevant when michael shore the lead of the forge team over there at 343 tweeted out this image saying like and also got a reply saying any chance of any btb playlist for like a community made playlist and said there is a community btb playlist in the works but i can't tell you more about that stay tuned and he specifically said he's not talking about squad bounce like an actual 12v12 btb forge experience which is definitely needed as btb has such a limited map pool we definitely could see this come around in season six as that would make it six months since this tweet and we also know that the fastest turnaround is generally two months for arena maps obviously it'll take more time for btb maps as there are larger more elements at play that need to be tested but i would be shocked if we don't get a btb community playlist refresh update within 2024 another playlist i'm really hoping that would be a classic experience being brought back in the halo which is great for the franchise as we've seen 343 lean more into the nostalgia of the game is action sack the last time we heard anything about action sack was zach boyce he said he had a different idea when it came to action sack and waiting for the forge content to really come out well forge has been out for a full year now we have a chance to actually kind of look at what we could get for an action sack mode now this idea of an action sack playlist could be kind of left in the water or we'll see because zach boyce here did leave 343 and i think now is currently yeah, he's currently working on the valorant right now so that work is probably either left behind or maybe just in limbo we'll kind of have to wait and see but nostalgia is a very strong tool within the halo franchise and i would see action sack come back would be absolutely great and a really big boost for people to jump in and play casual social experiences within halo talking about classic modes coming back could we see griff ball that's a very maybe possibility it all just kind of comes back down to the gravity hammer as it's been a bit of an issue when it comes to this new engine as sometimes there's physics sometimes there isn't like there are some key gameplay mechanics you do with the gravity hammer within griff ball that you just can't do in halo infinite though we could see some more classic experiences coming into halo infinite a recent survey was leaked that we covered here on the channel previously but just so we're on the same page here that talking about having a halo ce2 three maps modes and sandbox im settings and overall feel built in Halo Infinite, which would be a fun jaunt down memory lane, but I don't know if I would want to have a true one-to-one -one experience within Halo Infinite. I'd rather just play the Master Chief Collection for that. So I think this would be more of a way to try to bring those classic fans into Halo Infinite so they can buy into the microtransactions to have Halo be a much more sustainable franchise for Microsoft. But the survey was just leaked out back on December 11, so I wouldn't really expect to see any kind of classic gameplay, like direct gameplay recreated within Halo Infinite this year this could be a 2025 thing unless 343 relies more on the forge side of things with their custom settings to be able to create these classic modes then we could see that within 2024. now a major beat that's going to happen in the middle of the year for 2024 is going to be the xbox bethesda now activision blizzard showcase halo has been absent for the last two years when it comes to this showcase which i find so odd like now microsoft does spend their time more kind of showcasing the new cool stuff to come into the microsoft ecosystem but you also want to promote your live service games like Sea of Thieves and Halo Infinite even. I think the last two years we didn't really see Halo get showcased because Halo didn't really have anything to show. 343 was struggling enough just to get the game out and just you know have it updated but now that we're in a good rhythm when it comes to seasonality the sentiment around the Halo franchise has definitely increased along with the population makes you think that we will see something but I think it might be just like a quick little 15 minute 
30 second trailer being like the new season should be coming around here or just a friendly reminder be like hey halo infinite has all this cool new stuff come by and check it out but microsoft could also pull the plug on halo infinite and maybe not support it beyond 2024 which we'll talk about later in this video and if that's the case we won't really see any halo infinite content i'm sure a lot of people are kind of holding their hopes out to hear the battle royale to tonka mode being revealed but i like i said earlier i don't really see that happening though that tonka project has been in the works for years now at this point maybe have a year in advance teaser that'll be like hey this cool thing is coming to halo you should be excited about the franchise i do feel like microsoft should say something about halo when it comes to their mid-year showcase because it's a premier franchise like when people think of microsoft and xbox they they think halo and now that halo Infinite is relatively feature complete and they are making progress when it comes to the networking and things like that that by that time that big showcase be in june comes around they might actually have something to show for halo which would be really exciting now, we have to talk about this part of Halo Infinite as it's what's keeping the lights on and that's the shop and customization. We do know that cross core shoulders will be coming in very soon for Halo Infinite. This could be a season six update. Again, that's just pure speculation, but 343 sounded very confident about that coming into the game next. So I would assume maybe season six at late season seven. Though I would expect to see some more cores being added into Halo Infinite. This was leaked out on Reddit here, showcasing that there are two extra pads available within the armor locker room if that's what you want to call it that are not utilized right now within halo infinite this would bring the grand total of cores available to 10. we did see 343 focus more on just adding more to what's already there when it comes to 2023 when it comes to customization especially on the side of the fracture cores which are very limited unless you buy into the microtransactions there are two main things i want to see with the customization within 2024 that i think we could see a little bit of there's one flashier customization we are starting to get that a little bit more with the different kind of shoulder attachments things that kind of light up a little more flashy i think that's something that we need but i like to see like the actual armor like glow or have some kind of animation to it rather than just its different shades of colors and also i'd like to see some more weapon models being brought into the game because that's definitely something you will see in game the second thing i would like to see is some kind of customization that you can grind for that's not tied to an operation or battle pass i'm sure many of you remember the halo 5 target master challenge where if you grind out enough wins within the game you unlock new pistol camos which looked great that's something i think we really need within halo if it's some kind of gameplay driven experience where you just need to jump in and just play a bunch you get to unlock this specific item that you can put onto your character even though effectively it's like what you're doing right now when it comes to the customization of the operation passes and the battle passes but i think you have to have, have to have something that's a little more specifically gameplay driven like win 600 matches within rank you get a cool like hcs camo win x amount of games of legendary firefight you get this cool effect and so you can kind of try to try to piece it all together to have like your one cool like i play a lot spartan next i want to talk about the sandbox editions the sandbox in halo Infinite has been feeling very stale throughout 2023 even though we did just get the repair field which is a great addition to the game there definitely needs to be new things added throughout the seasons to keep the game fresh the longest running leak of a new vehicle coming into the game which is something i know a lot of classic fans are gonna be excited for myself included would be the falcon we've seen this leaked out for over a year now at this point We've seen it improve in texture quality throughout the years as well. So when is this gonna actually be put into the game? Well, I think 2024 is the year of the Falcon. Recent gameplay leaks showcasing one side having a machine gun, the other side having the grenade launcher. So it's kind of best of both worlds when it comes to the type of Falcon that's gonna be in the game. The Falcon is one of my all time favorite vehicles just because it's like an airborne tank. I mean, that's amazing. We saw the bandit rifle, the DMR, if you wanna call it that as well, leaked out far in advance, just at the same time almost as we did with the falcon so i don't know why we wouldn't see the falcon coming in 2024 next i think we're also going to see a new shotgun added to the game way back in august of 2022 this double barrel shotgun model was leaked out in halo infinite obviously not the finished model but i do think we're actually going to get a double barrel shotgun this year because we saw the leaks of an image of a gravity hammer attached to the end of a shotgun and when i click to go look at the source here the tweet was actually taken down, which makes me believe that this might actually be a thing. We'll have like a gravity hammer shotgun that's a double barrel. That's kind of interesting to be wild to see how that actually plays out. Though I think the more wild thing would just be giving us the classic shotgun back in Halo Infinite. I think that's what people really wanted to see. But I think we're just really just kind of have to wait once that information finally does come out. We do know season six is coming right around the corner, which will get a nice ramp up of what's going to be part of that season, the content and everything in between, which, well, 
you know, I'll cover on the channel here. I also want to cover what the general tone and feel of Halo Infinite is going to be like this year. And I think we're going to see a big reliance on nostalgia to try to bring people back. We saw this with the Halo 3 Refueled playlist, which was a huge success and now a permanent playlist within the game. And we all know the Mark V armor, the CE armor set sold like crazy within Halo Infinite. It even brought Halo selling higher on Steam compared to Call of Duty even, just for one armor set. So I think 343 took the hint, give us the nostalgia. And tied into that leak we just talked about earlier, so they wanted to have a created experience within Halo Infinite that, that brings those classic games into Halo Infinite. So I think we're gonna see a little bit more of that. We'll see maybe some Halo 2 maps, some CE maps, maybe even some Reach maps being added into the playlist style things. And I don't think we'll see any dev made maps that are gonna be recreations of some classic maps. I think that's gonna be lead to left to the Forge side of things, which I think is probably the right way to go about doing that. So like bringing back the Falcon, pure nostalgia. Could we get the single shot shotgun from the classic games? I don't know, maybe, but like I think just more reliance on that. I think is what people really want. And like I said at the top of this video, guys, this could be the last full year of support for Halo Infinite because we do know that the studio is looking to move on beyond Halo Infinite to some other ambitions as they stated previously. And at the time of recording this video, the most played games on Xbox right here, you have to scroll down quite a bit down to 25th for Halo Infinite's multiplayer, which is a respectable level, but not really anything to put a whole lot of resources into. And I think we'll really know the future of Halo Infinite by middle of this year because the fiscal earning year for Microsoft ends on June 30th and the new year starts on July 1st. Around that time is when we do get a lot of information about what the future of Xbox is looking like and what games are going to be continued on, what's doing well, what's not doing so great. Though I feel that 343 will continue on to support Halo Infinite into 2024, into 2025, but I feel like it'd be a little bit more of a back burner kind of thing, almost like what they did with the end of the Master Chief collection. Because even though we've seen a recent resurgence when it comes to the population of Halo Infinite, it's just not doing that crazy. And there's nothing really on the horizon for Halo Infinite to really get people excited about jumping back into the game since a lot of those features were added throughout 2023. But in 2024, we should still get a full suite of content with like dev made maps, new customization available, Forge updates as well when it comes to cool playlists and things like that. But without any major beat looking forward to come into Halo Infinite, like new campaign or some crazy new mode like a battle royale or something like that coming into the game i don't really see a whole lot of excitement happening for halo this year and that lack of excitement and interest would see a waning of the player base meaning that the support wouldn't be as long as we would hope for definitely not the 10-year plan so i'm just gonna say brace yourself for say june of 2025 to be like the final big update for halo infinite but if 2023 was a sign of anything we know that things are subject to change when it comes to the original plan for the halo franchise and if anything does come up when it comes to that change, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to tap like. If you're new to the channel and miss any content from me, check out this video right here. And thank you all for watching. Peace out.